Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree. If you're new here, please join the family. Um, I love everything that is fashion, beauty, and promotes self-care. So I'm super, super excited to talk to you about some products from Sephora that I absolutely love and, and that may be something that you should check out during the sale. Sephora sale is going on from April 5th through April 15th. And depending on what type of member you are, you can get anywhere from 10% off to 20% off. In addition to all Sephora products are 30% off. So let's get into this. It is super windy. So if you hear my umbrella, or my table about to fly off that's why all right so I want to start off with skincare so I tried to limit it down to my favorite products that I'm using right now I literally have everything laid out in front of me so if you see me looking down or looking at the table I am trying to get to the products um, and I tried to keep it limited to a few products in each category so the first category I want to start with is face and so some of my favorite products for face, um, number one product is going to be Tatcha Dewy Skin. I absolutely love this product. The way they describe this is a rich moisturizer that hydrates, seals in moisture, visibly plumps fine lines, and protects from skin aging oxidative stress. And this is for skin types normal and dry. So my skin type is extremely dry. And this right here is super, super, super duper extra special. Um, I went ahead and got the, um, I think it's the mega value size. I absolutely love it. Only thing I don't love is the price of this. So this can range anywhere from, I believe, 72 to $89 regularly. And so getting it while it's on sale, key and i would say this whole bottle can last me anywhere from nine to 12 months if i'm only using it in the morning all right definitely something to look into um next product that i love is skin fix this one's called barrier triple lipid peptide cream and this is absolutely an incredible moisturizer to use at night um, you can use it after you've used your serums um, and also after um, you have used a retinoid cream um, some people's skin can be pretty sensitive so i think i have heard some people mentioning tingling um, my skin reacts really well to this um, so definitely something to check out and highlights about this is that it's a lightweight visibly pore refining gel cream powered by bl3 that hydrates absorbs excess oil and repairs your skin moisture barrier and this is for normal combination and oily skin again i am dry skin absolutely love this my next favorite product is the glow recipe watermelon niacinamide dew drops absolutely love this product so usually in the morning i will take a cotton swab um, with micellar water and then i will refresh my face with rose water mist and i will go in with either vitamin c or um, my glow recipe drops um, and that's because i want to have an antioxidant before i finish my regimen and just so you can know what sephora site has the claims for this product. Um, it is a breakthrough multi-use highlighting serum that hydrates and visibly reduces the look of hyperpigmentation for a dewy reflective glow without any of that gray cast or glitter there. And some of the key ingredients, um, you have niacinamide, a vitamin, which is a vitamin B3 and antioxidant, which can help to reduce hyperpigmentation and keep your skin from looking dull and minimize the appearance of pores, which we all want to do. Uh, watermelon um, is in this product and this hydrates and delivers essential vitamins and amino acids to help brighten the skin. And then lastly, hyaluronic acid. This is a humectant that anchors moisture within the skin and keeps it very hydrated and bouncy. So this is a key product that I always um, get during the Sephora sale and I love it. And I think now Glow Recipe um, Dew Drops, they have one that has hue drops. So it has a little bit of color to it. And that's one of the products that I put in my basket this time, just so I could try out the one with a little bit of a glow. Next product we have is the Honey um, In Shower Moisture Treatment. I have extremely dry skin, and so I love to feel that moisturize almost like you have a film on your skin that is like not sticky. 
but it's super uh, moisturizing and this gives me that and so it has a very nice rose smell so if you're using any scents that have a floral or rose um, scent to them this is definitely one that will match with that and not um, mess up those scents um but yes i this is one that um, once i finish taking a shower i put it all over my skin i do like a quick rinse but i really want to make sure that i have all of this on um i think for some who aren't as dry this could be a little bit too heavy and too filmy um and can have a little bit of buildup on the bottom of your shower um but for my extremely dry skin folks out there this is going to be it. Next favorite product is the Sol de Janeiro Glow Oil. I get mine in the Copacabana Bronze. I absolutely love this and this lasts me forever. I don't even think I need to get it um, this time when I'm shopping. Um, but I use this to give like my... Um, decolletage, a little bit of a glow. Um, sometimes you can add this in very small amount to your foundation and this gives you a super nice glow that looks like you've been touched by God and kissed by the sun and it's just very pretty. Um, there is acai oil in this um, and there's also coconut oil so this melts right into the skin. I use one of my body buffing, buffing brushes, buffing brushes, buffing brushes um, and I absolutely love this when a little bit of skin is showing especially like when we get into spring and summer um, and just wanting to have those areas glow. So definitely a winner. The next products I'll tell you about are some perfumes that maybe you should consider buying during the sale. Um, one of my favorites is Burberry Her, um, and you wanna make sure you get the Eau de Toilette. And this one has juicy, juicy pear notes, um, also honeysuckle and a little bit of rose. And so it is a very fruity, flor fruity floral, uh, more fruity forward. Um, and I absolutely love this scent. Um, next scent I have um, are two of the Way perfumes. Uh, first one is Melrose Place. I did not think I would love this as much as I do, um, but I would say that this is a fruity rose. So sometimes rose can lean more mature, um, but I would say this is very young and fresh and vibrant, and it has a little bit of lychee and musk that just make it absolutely fresh and irresistible. If I could spray this everywhere and have it uh, be my scent, my clean girl scent, this is exactly what this is. I've gone through at least three bottles of this. Uh, normally it goes for 64, so during the sale, this is a great one to get. Um, and then, uh, Ways Dean Street. Uh, this one has notes of violet and rose and apricot. Uh, this is also a very clean scent. Um, I think my preference leans more towards Melrose Place, but this is a beautiful scent. Next, we have Dolce & Gabbana. Um, I've had this scent for so long. Um, this is number three, the Lumpetrice, and I think that it's picking up more in um, being a fave for people. I think this is a fruity floral, but very, very fruity forward. So if you find yourself not leaning too heavy on the floral side, this is one for you. I think that it has, it's a very feminine scent. It has rhubarb and it has um, red currant. And it's just very like flirty and forward and feminine. Can't go wrong. I believe they sell it in multiple sizes too. This will last you forever. Um, Kayali, this is the Yum Pistachio Gelato. I absolutely love, love, love this. Um, can't say anything wrong for my Kayali. I don't have it here, um, but my Kayali Vanilla mm, also is an, a hit. Like it will always be a great vanilla. So if you're looking for a new vanilla scent, Kayali Vanilla is also a good one. And then lastly, Nest came out with a Wild Poppy. Uh, this one is also a fruity floral, very fruity forward, feels very young, feels very flirty. Um, I got the travel size and I think it's a lovely scent and definitely one you should check out. Moving on to makeup products. Okay, and starting out with concealers. Um, I have so many concealers, so I tried to limit it down to four that are current faves. Um, first one is Born This Way Multi-Use 
ugh, sculpting concealer. Uh, this is definitely one that's a fave. I feel like when I put it on, it has a very creamy consistency. It does not dry down too quick if you are wanting to let it sit there a little bit longer so you can have um, a little bit more uh, coverage. This is a beautiful one. Um, I definitely would say if I am looking to um, have a little bit more makeup coverage that day, this is one that I will grab. Um, my next one that I will grab for also having good makeup coverage is uh, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have this in caramel. This is a classic that will never ever go out of style. Um, I think this is a good option for all skin types. Um, it's a very creamy formula. Um, it's a, and you want creamy formulas, especially as the skin matures and we're trying to prevent having any, um, lines in our, uh, concealer where it's like breaking. And so I think this is a beautiful concealer to have. So also one of my days when I want a little bit more makeup coverage, when I am looking for something a little bit lighter, um, ones that I go for the Fenty Beauty Eye Bright this is an almond butter so if I am not really looking to have like a lightning underneath my eyes and I just want to cover dark circles but um, still see the beautiful brown um, in my skin I will use this so the eye brightener is definitely not one that you would use for a full face of makeup and lightning under the eyes but this is a very natural look and I think it's beautiful and then the last concealer um, is the stretch concealer by Glossier I absolutely love this um, this is one of the few that I have um, that's potted. Um, I think this is a very awesome option to use with um, a concealer brush. Um, and this one goes on very light. It's very buildable. And I feel like it melts into the skin um, and it's less likely to crease. But I just think this creates a really, really beautiful, natural, um, but still lightening effect under the eyes. So definitely one of my go-tos. Next category are foundations. Um, again, I have dry skin, so I am very much into the foundations that give your skin that I'm not really wearing much, but look how beautiful my brown is shining through and I look like I've been kissed by the sun, um, but I'm not doing too much in terms of coverage. So um, the foundations that I'm sharing today, I would say, um, are a little bit on the lighter side. I would say light to medium coverage, um, which is usually what I'm looking for. Um, and that usually means you wanna take care of your skin and have good skin care showing because your skin's still gonna be showing through. Um, just to give you that note when um, I describe the foundations. Um, so one of my favorites and never fails me. So even if I am going to a formal event and I just want medium coverage, but I wanna have a glow from within, I will use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and I am in color 11. This is a perfect match. How it lays on the skin and the glow that it gives, absolutely beautiful. Um, this is expensive to me for a foundation, so getting this during the Sephora sale is definitely um, something to do. Um, next foundation that I've been loving is the Glossier um, foundation. It's one of their uh, new foundations and I am in medium deep one. This also leaves a luminous, very sheer, still glow within um, finish on the skin and I absolutely love it. Um, even though it is from Glossier and Glossier is known for having that not wearing makeup um, kind of makeup, uh, this is a little bit more coverage than that. So I would give this um, a medium coverage. So it's so definitely something good to get during the sale. And then my next two products are from Amicole. I absolutely love this brand. I think I like all of the products other than the eyeshadow products, but the skin products are top notch. And so they have a skin enhancing tint and I am in deep two. This is my color to like a hundred percent. Like this is beautiful. I will always buy this tube. This is my second or third tube that I have gone through. This is, this is beautiful. I will never let this go. This is a daily foundation that can, not really a foundation, more of a skin tint um, that will give you that I'm still here, but I look a little bit better. This is something that I will wear to work daily. Um, if I'm just going out on the weekend, something casual that I can put on my skin still can breathe. This is this. And then they also came out with a skin enhancing stick. So I'm in shade 210 here. I would say this is a little bit 
darker for me. Um, I thought with the golden tones it would still um, fit me, but I would say it kind of fits the perimeter a little bit more. So during the sale, I'm gonna get uh, color 240 to kind of um, have the areas that I want a little bit lighter on my face. But what this is, is a foundation stick. And so you can use it either as a concealer or you can use it as a foundation. This is a multi-use stick, but I absolutely love this when I am in a hurry and I just wanna get a little bit of color look better than I'm looking little even tones in my skin I will take this and a three and then blend that out with either a sponge or a brush and it absolutely melts into the skin um, and it looks like you're wearing nothing so you are you but better but this is definitely a product to check out Ami Kole, um recently um, I believe went to Sephora within the past year um, and so a lot of stores don't have it in store but this is definitely one to get online uh, love 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 can't say enough about this product okay so moving on to a category that is one of my favorite when it comes to face I love concealer and I love bronzer I can put a face down with that so let me show you two of my balms that are my favorites. So the first one is by Say. Uh, this is one of their very balmy um, bronzers. I have it in deep bronze. Um, it is a beautiful color that leans more warm. Um, and I love how it melts into the skin. Look at this beautiful brown. Um, it's warm enough without being too red. Um, and I think this is beautiful. Granted, I do have lots of... Um, bronzer so it takes a while for me to hit pan sometimes but this one is beautiful this is definitely um, one of my favorite bronzers in my collection um, another favorite I have is the soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer by Mario as you can see I have loved this one to pan um, and so this one gives me a lighter um, sun-kissed um, effect um, so definitely a little bit more translucent than the say today's I'm wearing the say so I like the kind of glow that it gives me but if I'm looking for something light um, this is definitely one that I go for and as we see I obviously need to get some more um, the next two that I'm going to show you are stick forms. Um, so the first one is Rare Beauty. They have a bronzer stick and I have the one in Full of Life. As you can see, I have used this frequently. Um, this is one where I literally will just carve out um, the areas that I want to look kissed from the sun. This leans pretty warm, um, almost into a bronze slash blush category um, but definitely an easy stick to use that's going to melt into your skin um, and also an affordable price and my next stick is by Liss I don't know if it's Liss or Lice but I love their bronze stick and I have this in strength and it is a creamy brown like look at that beautiful brown um, so this one um, is more of a neutral brown so uh, not as much leaning into the reds um, as the other one. So it is a nice way to be able to carve out the cheekbones. This is also a creamy formula that melts into the skin. And I believe it's already at an affordable price of $20. So getting to save on this during the sale is definitely a winner. Um, and I have a different uh, formula uh, from Glossier that is their solar paint and it's in heat. And so you literally have um, a tube and you're able to use the stick. And so usually what I'll do is I'll put dot, 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 and it'll kind of be in those areas that I want to be sun kissed. And I think this is just a very pretty color. It does lean a little bit more warm red, which I'm okay with um, when I'm not looking for a cool or a ne um, neutral brown. Um, but yeah, that, those are my favorites in terms of the creamy formulas. Um, and so lastly, I have a powder formula. Um, this is my favorite. As you can see, I have already broken this and I've already hit pan. But this is Ilya's Songbird Night Light Bronzing Powder. And I absolutely love this. You can see that it leans a little bit more red, um, more warm, um, which are tones that I prefer. Um, but this is definitely a winner in my book. Um, it is the fourth color um, in their range of colors um, within the bronzing powders. And a lot of times I see that Sephora does not have this in store, um, but this is definitely one to check out to see if you would like that. The next category um, I wanna cover are blushes. I have so many blushes, but I tried to limit it down to four that I thought were super beautiful. And so we have Rare Beauty in the 
nearly berry color as you can see this one has been loved on by me it is a creamy formula that is easy to blend into the skin it's very affordable um, definitely one to check out um, another favorite is the rose ink in dahlia i absolutely love the tone of this red um, it is absolutely beautiful and this formula is also creamy so a creamy kind of blush just like rare beauties um, where you would want to use a brush with it or use your fingers, but it easily melts into the skin. Um, Refai has um, a smaller blush palette that's in Cherry. This is a really easy one to travel with because it snaps close, it's small, but it adds just another, uh, just, just enough color to your cheeks and it's beautiful. And then my liquid, liquid formulation is the Glossier's Cloud Paint and Storm. Um, this can be pretty pigmented, so you want to be like very mindful when you're putting your dots on that um, you, you know don't add on too much color um, but it easily blends into the skin and gives you that flushed look which is super super beautiful now I didn't have a category for this but when I want to add freckles to my face um, I think it's such a beautiful look especially when you add it along the nose and along the cheeks and you have a little bit of flushed red going with it um, my favorite uh, freckles to make are with the Freck Nor, the original freckle um, these can be pretty expensive for such a small container so getting it during the sale is definitely something that if you are into that look with freckles something to get next category is powders um i'm gonna start off with pressed powders and just kind of go through some of the ones that have been my favorite recently um so kosas has this uh cloud set powder that is absolutely beautiful um love 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 this and i have it um in silky and i absolutely love this powder um because when I will use it is um, in the same areas that I've added bronzer um, with the cream base. I usually will go over those areas of my skin um, with the Kosas powder. And I feel like it still gives me that glow without overly mattifying those areas, but it sets um, my face in those areas. And this is a powder that I will continue to buy. Next pressed powder um, is Bobbi Brown's powder, and this is in the Sheer Finish Pressed Powder. Um, I have this in Soft Honey, so depending on how light I want to go under the eyes, um, this is a pressed powder that I like to use um, on top of my uh, creamy concealer. Um, I also like the Milani powders, pressed powders, um, to use on top of my concealers. Lately, in order to not have it look too cakey and not have any cracking in my concealer, I've really loved using a pressed powder um, on top of my concealer but Bobbi Brown's is definitely a beautiful formula for that. Um, Hourglass, I believe this is the Ambient Lighting Palette. Um, this is also a beautiful palette and you can see how those colors kind of glisten and so when I also want to have like a uh, luminescent effect so this does have luminescent technology I will add that to the areas um, where I have bronzed myself and then it gives me a little bit more of a glow it's a very subtle glow so nothing looks too glittery um, but this is a beautiful palette and an expensive palette so if you're ever going to buy this palette that is i think 70 dollars on sephora's website definitely get it during the sale um and it lasts me forever like this this will last you over a year especially if you have multiple powders um but this is technically classified as a finishing powder and i like to use it over the areas where i want a little bit of glow next two powders um are versatile foundation powders that you can either use to set your creams or just to do an all over buildable um, foundation from powder. And, and so my favorite one, the first one is Turn Up the Base. Uh, this is by One Size. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome um, formula. I feel like it blends very easily into the skin. Um, oftentimes I will use this in the areas um, where I have, um, if I'm not going for my Kosas um, to kind of hit the areas and I want a little bit more of a mattified effect, I will use this on top of the areas where I have bronze, which are in that three motion on the face. Um, 
And then the other pressed powder that is also a foundation is Fenty's Pro Filter. I have mine in the color 400. My one size was in dark three. Um, but yes, so Pro Filter um, is in 400. And this gives you a very soft matte look. So if I am um, still going for the creamy base and then putting this on top, I will also put this in that three form over the areas that I have um, bronzed. Um, or if it's a day where you're feeling really oily or you have somewhere to go and you need to be very quickly, I will brush this all over just to give me um, an appearance of my skin, but better um, with some blurring of your pores. Um, beautiful foundation. The last two foundations are very unique foundations. Um, Danessa Myricks has Yummy Skin. I have it in eight, um, the color eight. And so this technology has something called Upsolite. And so for the people out there who have combination skin or oily skin, this is really for you. Um, but what I like is that it still has hyaluronic acid and it has this, um, it is a balm that dries down and sets as a powder. So it still is able to maintain that hydration while keeping your oil under control. So I think this is a phenomenal product. Um, I think sometimes people are confused with, well, how do you use it? And so the way that I use it um, is if I'm feeling pretty shiny or my glass skin is like to a 10 on a 1 to 10 scale and I need to calm it down, um, I may use this to prime my face. Um, it just happens to be a primer that is um, has skin tint to it. And so I will lightly brush this all over my face to kind of control some of the oil that I probably did to myself. Um, and then on top of that, I will then go in with my concealer, um, my bronzer, and depending on how much coverage I want, I can also hit it up with the foundation. Other ways that you can use this um, is you can use this as your foundation. Um, you can also get it in different shades and be able to use it as your bronzer or your concealer. Um, with Danessa Myricks, um, her products are very versatile, um, so definitely something um, to consider. My other unique powder is by Refai, uh, and this is the Skin Finish Water-Based Powder. This is extremely unique. I don't think I've ever had a powder like this. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this, so what I've, I've had to learn what to use it for and what not to use it for. So this is absolutely beautiful so usually you want to tilt it over and kind of get some of the powder um, to come to the mesh and I will show you what it looks like it looks like a powder but literally feels like water when you put it onto your skin absolutely phenomenal formula and so some days also when I want to tame down the shine in my t-zone I will take a brush t-zone plus my eyebrows i will take a brush and lightly wipe in those areas um, and that is before i start doing any makeup so i have moisturized my face then i put a little bit of refi powder in my t-zone and eyebrows and kind of let that set um, sometimes i will let this set on top of just the moisturizer other times i will let this set on top of a primer either way it's a beautiful way to still control um, the oil but still have your skin shining through and not being overly matte um, another way i like to use this is when i want to um, mattify my lips and so often what i'll do is i will um, do a liner on my lips and then i'll uh, blot that with um, a napkin or my fingers and then i will go in with my lip color and then I will set it with my refi powder and that just has like such long lasting effects on um, my mattified um, now colored and uh, lined lips awesome for that um, and then another place that you can use it that it's really great is if your eyelids are like mine and they um, are hooded and they get pretty oily like this is a really uh, quick way to kind of um, take some of that sheen away and the one place I do not recommend this powder is underneath the eyes so if you like the effect of looking more awake having a little bit of more um, lighter light 
light light like light reflection underneath the eye having it be a little bit lighter um, than the rest of the skin this is not going to do it for you this is not meant to have that under eye light glam effect um, that a lot of people like to have when they're contouring and highlighting their face i would not use this for contouring and highlighting again i think this is just a good way to control the, um, the shine on the t-zone the eyebrows the eyelids and to make your lipstick and liner last forever on the lips thank me later. The next category is brows. And so I tried to pick a couple that I think are my favorite. So when it comes to taming my brows, um, I really like the Refai sculpting brush. And so it has this tube that's white. And so you kind of like brush them up, kind of gluing them into place. And then afterward, you have your comb and your brush that you want to comb into place and co go in both directions and then you can kind of have that um laminated effect and i think this one's really awesome um, this is definitely something that usually you want to do in the beginning before you add on any makeup or foundation so that you can have that area be clean and not blend in with your foundation and if you find that this is leaving too much product or too much white you want to make sure to comb it in both directions so all of that product is being um, blended into the brows um, next product that I like by Benefit is the Fluff Up Brow Wax. Um, this is just a really nice way to make them have a very fluffy appearance. And so in addition to having the laminated look, I love fluffy brows. Um, and then Hourglass, um, I have in the color Arch the Brow Sculpting Pencil. Usually I will just use this on the tail of my brows. And so you can see here, this is... Um, the type of end and so usually if I am just trying to lengthen my tail or feel fill in um, that area I use this pencil and this lasts me forever um, the other pencil that I absolutely love when I want to create hair like strokes is Refai's pencil and so on one end you have your um, not think of the name of this but you're able to brush your eyebrows um, and then on the other end you have a very 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 small point and you have to have a very light hand and you want to hold it towards the end and I try to do very fine hair strokes I've had my eyebrows microbladed um, so they already have a nice shape to them um, but over time as it fades it's nice to be able to go in and add some hair like strokes um, in the front where it is a little bit paler. So absolutely love these brow products. So our next category are lips. I've really been into the matte uh, your lips but better look. Um, and so I just wanted to share a few of those with you. Um, and so Freck Beauty um, has the Makeout Club Blur lipstick soft blur lipstick and these are absolutely beautiful i love the matte effect and the very like light color that they add i have these in color baddie and also in main character um definitely uh two of my favorites um i also have the rare beauty lip souffle this is um part of um selena's rare beauty matte collection um and so this one is a tube formula. Um, it's a very pigmented color. So usually when I put this on, I always blot it with a uh, napkin. Um, but I absolutely love this color and I have mine in transform. Uh, the next one is Glossier's um, Sheer Matte Lipstick. I absolutely love this. And my favorite color, I think I have about four or five of them, but my most favorite one is Fuzz. And it has a Your Lip But Better, and it's very sheer, um, it's matte. The only thing I do not like about these is there is a glitch in their closing. And so you'll start to see like a small crack that is there that will sometimes make it pop open like this. So it's not one that I travel with, but I leave it um, at home in my uh, makeup drawers. And I absolutely love all of these colors, super sheer. So if you're someone who does not like a lot of color on their lip and you're into the sheer matte look, this is your girl. Um, and then my next one is the Lip Blush in the color Wine by Refai. I think this is also a very pretty color um, and it's very buildable. And so I absolutely love that. 
and then <laughs> this product i don't know how it got in my lipsticks but this should have been in our brow collection um but this is refi's um this is the color black and this is the brow tint. I never knew how much I wanted a brow tint until I started using this product. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it colors the hairs a little bit darker. Um, and so sometimes I will use this in the middle, but this is part of the brows, but had to let you know about the product anyway. The last category is setting sprays. So I have two that I wanted to share. Uh, one of my favorites is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. This is amazing if you want your makeup to stay all day, but still have like this glow from within look, but I ain't going nowhere. This is your girl. And then another one that I like for maybe if I'm not trying to have like a heavy makeup coverage day, I want something really like, um, and that is Benefits the Pore professional uh, super setter. I think this is a really nice um, setting spray too. Um, again, this is for my days when I want a little bit lighter coverage and I'm okay if the makeup kind of like lightens up as the day goes. This is a nice um, one that makes your skin look really luminescent and it also um, makes your pores um, look a little bit better. So both great options. So that is a wrap. I hope there was something that you saw today that maybe you would like to purchase during the Sephora sale. Um, if you are not a subscriber, please join the family. Subscribe. If you like this video and stay till the end, please hit like. Um, definitely let me know if there are other videos that you would like to see posted. Um, and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Mwah.